So today, and today we're going to have a game of Space Gun on the Commodore Amiga. Now I did review this on the arcades and I thought it was an absolutely brilliant game. Um, so I thought I'll check it out on home systems. So we'll start with the Amiga. Right, so is this going to be a crap version or is it going to be good? Or is it somewhere in between? Right, options. Port 1 mouse, port 2 joystick. Okay, so how do I select that then? Mouse is what I want to use, so how do I select it? Fire button, space, oh, space bar, okay. Yeah, of course. All right, so you get your introduction. Okay, we don't need to see that. I just want to get into the action. Now this game does come on two discs and I'm running this on Amiga 1200 settings. Ooh. So, okay, fire button. Mouse button one is to fire. You can use your, um, if you hold down your second mouse button, you can use your flamethrower or your bonus weapons. Now this don't look too bad actually. I haven't got any. Maybe this is running a bit fast because I'm running this on a 1200. I'm certainly ain't playing badly. Oh, you can hold your mouse button down. Oh, is that it? Fucking hell, I lost a life already. Bloody hell, right, let's get extra ammo. What happened? Did I just die? Well, it didn't last very long, did it? Oh no, it's loading the second level. Well, so you can hold your mouse button down, that's good. I ain't got... Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's not spat, it's not... It's, it's alright on the Amiga, actually. Wasted that. What the hell? Well, that's another credit gone. So, this is quite a, a difficult game, actually. What's that? Oh, I missed it. Bollocks. So, if you hold your mouse button down, your right mouse button, you activate your flamethrower. Or your bonus weapon, whatever. There's a lot of loading in this game, no? Whoa! I'm glad you can use the mouse on this, though. So, Matt, the graphics look alright, or oh, what's going on it? Eh? I really hate it when he just stops like that. You received a fatal wound. So, oh, you got to enter your name, enter your initials. All right. Okay. Guess you can use your mouse instead of bloody cycling along the, the old console way or the arcade way does it warrant another go yes i think it does now i don't like this menu system that you can't select nothing and you got to push spacebar to start the game okay to be fair i did get further in the arcade version but then again i did use <laughs> i did use five credits but then again you can't use all your credits to continue. So I think you get three credits in this game. Well, there's credits too. It's a little bit difficult, but then again, it is based on an arcade game, so expect it to be difficult. I 
Okay, oops. So this is this is not a bad version actually. I think the only gripe I've got is it is a bit too difficult. I could have toned it down a bit, you know. When I say tone it down, I don't mean with the graphics score, I mean with the difficulty. Fucking hell. And this loading, it just loads up a little bit. You only get to play a little bit at the level, then it loads up more. I don't like that. It ruins the flow of the game. Okay. So the plus points you can use a mouse. So, I mean, this is a game. It's a rail shooter. So in the, ar the arcade version, you probably would have been using a light gun. As I never played the arcade version. Never seen the arcade machine. So, but obviously, are it's one of these games that you'll be using a light gun, no doubt. Oh, so that's a life gone. But I was using main emulator, so I was using a mouse. Like I, but this game was made for a mouse. I suppose you can use joystick, but it's better for these brow shooters. It's better to use a mouse. Well, it might. That's my opinion. Perhaps your opinion's different. That's fine. We're all allowed to have different opinions. Okay. So this will be a game for one and two players simultaneously. So it might probably be better with two players. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to shoot you. Well, you shouldn't have been captured in the first place. I ain't got no sympathy for you being captured. <laughs> I'm joking. See, see, you don't know if you've just been killed or the game's loading on. So it could say, loading, please wait, or no, I'm dead. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there. That is a little bit difficult for my liking, but it's all right, though. It's all right. I've seen a lot worse on the Amiga, so... Which was capable of better, you know what I mean. Usually, usually shitty ST ports that the Amiga got. I don't know. I don't think this was an ST port, uh, but it played fine. It, it's a little bit difficult. That's all I really can say. And the loading, you know, you, can, you can play a little bit of the level, then it loads more. So perhaps they could have improved on that. But it's an all right version, though. It's an all right version for the Amiga. Graphics look good, the sounds are okay. Yeah. Anyway, gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.